Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. I'm Dutch oven cooking again and today I'm going to try and do a shepherd's pie in the Dutch ovens. Um, I actually need uh, mashed potatoes for the top of course so I actually have them already going and you can watch me assemble the rest. And a word of note here, shepherd's pie and cottage pie are two different things. Here in America we've gotten kind of used to saying shepherd's pie uh, for this dish, but true shepherd's pie is made with lamb only. That's why it's called shepherd's pie, because it has sheep in it, or specifically lamb. And I'm using ground lamb today. Uh, the same thing with any other kind of meat is called cottage pie. So, but I'm actually using lamb today, uh, ground lamb, so this is a true shepherd's pie. Um, I'll show you my potatoes cooking, and then I'll show you what goes into it, and we'll get her done. Got a camp shop on the fire. There are my potatoes boiling away. Like I said, they're gonna go for the, uh, the mashed potatoes for the top of the shepherd's pie. The uh, mashed potato top. You need beef broth, um, a little flour. I have minced garlic. I have my Montreal seasoning. I also have oregano and thyme. Some fresh cut uh, parsley here. And then I have a mix of vegetables here, which is um, peas and carrots and uh, celery and onion. And of course, my lamb. So uh, we're gonna get this assembled here. I'm gonna put the uh, oil and Montreal seasoning in the Dutch oven over the fire, and then I'm gonna brown my lamb. All right. So I have my uh, Montreal seasoning and my onion sauteing in there. And then I'm going to lay in my ground lamb. They got kind of more frozen than I thought it was going to. So we'll get that browned up. Okay, I've got my lamb uh, browned pretty well in there. Just a couple of bits. Not totally done, but pretty much. And it's going to stew anyway. So we're going to add in the rest of my stuff. I'm going to add in some thyme. Some oregano. I'm going to add in my beef broth. I'm going to give that a good stir. I'm going to add in my fresh chopped parsley. And then I'm going to add in my vegetables. And I might add a little bit more water to make sure we have enough liquid here. For the veggies to cook good. I'm going to put my lid back on and uh, get her done. I dropped it down in the coals because I wanted to get that meat uh, seared well and I wanted good coals too because uh, well later I'm going to try an apple pie. So anyway, this is down in the coals, get some good heat going and get my uh, shepherd's pie stew going. So, I'm mashing my potatoes, but even when you're roughing it, it's nice to have conveniences. You don't see on camera very often. 
Okay, okay, so this is pretty well put down and done. It's probably a little stupider than I would normally do it if I had it inside, but it's still going to be good. It's cooked down enough. I'm going to add the uh, mashed potatoes on top and then lit it up and let it sit for about five minutes. Here we go. So this is what it looks like with the uh, potato topping on. And you guys know what comes next. And today I've got a special taste tester for you. Right. So, yep. So I got a special guest here visiting. This is Wyatt One Able. And uh, Wyatt's my taste tester today with yeah. the shepherd's pie and beer bread with cucumber dill dip, out. which uh, I've made that before and you guys have the recipe for it. So, time of truth. Bulgari. <laughs> I know you wish you were Ooh, here. It looks hot. Looks yeah. hot. Careful, man. Okay, I'm asking my wife for a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling Doris you said that. <laughs> that is very good. And she's a good cook, so. It's the real shepherd's pie with lamb. The, From the Dutch oven, too. You missed all the intro to this. You just be quiet. <laughs> and even Sadie comes to Yep, work. here's Sadie. This is why it's puppy Sadie. <laughs> but I, I already gave Sadie treats, mm -hmm. so. Yep, it's very good. Yep, that's Sadie. Better outdoors. Mr. Disgruntled Mechanic over there, and I might add that he owes, he, he should get a thank you because he helps with my fire tending and setting up my coals and all that good stuff. Looking potatoes. And my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. That is very good. So. I'm <laughs> I'll, I'll let Doris know. <laughs> so that's the shepherd's pie. Um, if you like what you saw here, please like and subscribe and join me next time here in Huckles, Pennsylvania cooking.